Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook, and in this video, I will be showing you how to set up a charge limit using a smart plug on your Android device. So, let's get started. So the first thing we will need is, of course, our Android device, and we will be using that in this tutorial. Second thing we will need is a smart plug that is compatible with if this to that or IFTTT and we will be using that for our integrations with an, another app that we're going to be using on our phone. And finally we'll need the charger that comes with our phone and we'll need to make sure that it has a wall plug so we can plug that right in to the smart plug. So the way this project will work is we'll be using an app called Macrodroid which will check the battery percentage when it is charging. And once the phone hits 81%, it will send a notification. And IFTTT will be listening for notifications in parallel. And once it senses that there is a notification from Macrodroid, it will tell the smart plug to turn off. The phone will be connected to the smart plug. And when the smart plug turns off, that will cut the power to the phone. And after the power has been cut to the phone, Macrodroid will sense that the phone has stopped charging and will clear the notification that it sent. The reason why we have a charge limiter is so we can prevent battery degradation from charging it all the way up to 100% overnight. So now let me just hop over to my phone and I will show you how to do this. Okay, so now we just need to open up the Google Play Store and we'll need to download two apps. The first app we'll need to download is this app called Macrodroid. So Macrodroid is just an app for um, device automations. And the way you do it is using something called macros within the app. And now the second thing we'll need to do is to install an app called IFTTT. So IFTTT. And so this app right here also assists with home automation. So we'll be using this for our uh, automations with the smart plug. So now let's just open up Macrodroid. And in here you see that there is uh, there are a bunch of boxes over here. And so these boxes um, do various functions within the app. But the tab we'll need to be in is this macro tab down here. So as you can see, I already have a bunch of applets. And these are the only two applets up here that, that are under charging that are green that we'll need for this tutorial. And I have the Macrodroid Pro version, but um, the Macrodroid free version also supports creating two applets. So now what we'll need to do is just click this plus sign down here and click use empty macro. Now under triggers, what we need to type in is go to battery slash power. And right here, what we'll need to do is uh, click on uh, battery level right here. So now we'll need to just click on increase slash decrease. And we'll need to take the slider all the way up to 80%. Or if you want to have it at 70, you can do that too. And we will need to change this dot up here to increases to. So now under actions, what we'll need to do is to send a notification. So we'll need to go into this notification tab down here. And what we'll now need to do is type in a display notification. So we can leave all this like it is, enter notification title, macro droid char charging, how about that, charging. And in here, well, let's just type in charger off. And now I'm just going to click OK. Now, finally, what we all need to do is to set the uh, battery slash power um, in the constraints to power connected. 
and we'll select all of these. So basically what this does is this macro will trigger when the battery hits 81%, which is uh, when it increases to 81%, and that only happens when it is charging. So then what it will do is it will display a notification that says charger off, and IFGTT will be able to pick that up. And finally, this applet will only trigger if power is connected. So now let's just um, name this macro. We'll call this charger off, and we will add this applet. So you see there is this category called uncategorized. And I like to organize my applet. So I am just going to click select category down here, scroll all the way down to new category. And we'll need to rename this new category. I'm going to just call this tech notebook tutorial. Just click OK. And we have our new category. Now what we'll need to add another applet. So we'll call this applet clear uh, notifications. So what this will do is once it senses that the power is disconnected, it will clear all the notifications out that macro droid has sent to the IFTTT app. So that way, when you open your phone the next time, you won't be able to actually see those notifications. And that just makes it easier. So that way you don't need to clear all the notifications at the start of every day. So now what we'll do is under our triggers, we will need to go into battery slash power. And under power connected slash disconnected, we will need to just select the power disconnected. So basically what this is, is once the uh, smart plug turns off, uh, the power going to the phone, then it will clear the notifications just in case IFTTT hasn't picked that up already. So now we'll just need to go into uh, actions, go down into notification again and just click clear notifications, go down into select applications now. And in this list, we will need to find MacroDroid. So let's just wait for this thing to uh, load all the applications that I have. And let's just scroll down until we find MacroDroid. So now what we can do is we can just select, OK, if you have any other macros with MacroDroid, then you might want to tweak this. But currently, I don't. So I can just click OK. And we don't have any constraints here. So we can just click uh, this add button right at the bottom. OK, so now we need to just go in into the IFTTT app and click create. So now we need to click the add button next to if this. Now we need to go in and into the search bar. We'll need to just type in Android. Spelled Android wrong. So now we need to click on Android device up here. So now it says uh, if notification received from a specific app, right? For, for me, it's all the way at the bottom. And in this app name section, we'll just need to type in macro droid. And in the filter by notification keyword, we're going to type in just charger. Click continue. Now in then that, we'll just need to click Add. And in Services, we'll need to uh, type in the brand of our smart plug that is compatible with IFTTT. I'm going to type in CASA. There we go. And now we just need to click on Toggle. Now under Device, we'll just need to select the plug that we have. I only have one plug, so I'm just going to select the only plug that was on the list. Now just click continue, continue again.
and make sure and receive notifications when this runs that's uh, right here make sure that this is off because you don't want to get any notifications uh, when this applet runs or else macro droid won't clear that and there's basically no point in clearing the macro droid notification either so now let's just click on finish right here and we can hit back and you can see that this new applet has now popped up on here okay so now when you go to charge your phone what you'll need to do is to take your smart plug and plug it right into the wall like this. Take your phone charger, plug it into the smart plug, and then plug in your phone. And make sure the smart plug is on when you charge your phone or else the phone won't charge at all. So now as you can see the phone has hit 81%. You saw that the MacroDroid notification popped up and the notification that says the phone was charging went away as well as the MacroDroid. So that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.